Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Fredericks, board certified entomologist with the National Pest Management Association. Chances are you or someone you know has had a less than pleasant encounter with stinging insects such as wasps, hornets, and fire ants. In fact, stinging insects send half a million people to the emergency room each and every year. While they're often associated with summertime, stinging insects are especially active during the second half of the summer and early fall when their colony populations are at their largest and most aggressive. Today, we're gonna to show you just how easy it is to accidentally disturb these pests and the not so friendly responses that could follow. A relative of the yellow jack and other wasps, the bald-faced hornet is known for its large size and aggressive nature. Unlike other stinging insects that may only sting when they feel threatened, bald-faced hornets will attack just about anyone or anything that invades their space. Often spotted in colonies of 100 to 400 members, these social insects use smooth stingers as their defense mechanism, allowing them to sting over and over again. These stinging insects prefer to build their nests above ground, usually in trees, shrubs, utility poles, houses, sheds, and other structures. Avoiding contact with these insects is key to prevent getting stung. Keeping food covered, especially when outdoors, will also help to keep them at bay. When spending time outside, avoid wearing strong fragrances and wear shoes that cover and protect your feet from rogue hornets. The moral of the story is stinging insects are no joke, so removal should not be your next DIY project. If you spot a nest around your property, work with a licensed pest control professional to address the infestation in a safe and effective manner. For more episodes and to learn more about these pests, visit do not disturb dot pestworld.org.